A cell is the smallest unit of life and the building block of all living organisms. There are two general classifications of cells, prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells. Prokaryotic cells are the single-celled organisms and include things like bacteria and some algae. Eukaryotic cells make up more complex organisms like plants and animals. Eukaryotic cells have a membrane-bound nucleus that holds all of the DNA in one part of the cell as well as many other organelles. Prokaryotic cells do not have membrane-bound nucleus. So the DNA, which is usually a single circular molecule floating in the cytoplasm of the cell. Eukaryotic cells can be thought of as tiny cities because each organelle has its own important function, the cell membrane. A plasma membrane. Cell membrane is made up of a phospholipid bilayer. The bilayer surrounds the cells and acts like a gate that allows molecule into and out of the cell. So the cell membrane is like a large gate surrounding the city. The nucleus. The nucleus would be like the capital building of the city because it functions as the control center of the cell and houses the genetic information or instructions for what the cell is supposed to do. The mitochondria. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, producing the energy the cell needs to perform its duties. So the mitochondria is like a power plant, providing energy for the city to use. The energy currency of a cell is ATP, ribosome. The ribosomes act as factories, which translate the genetic information or DNA from the nucleus into usable protein molecules. Proteins do the work in the cell. The Golgi The Golgi functions as the post office in the cell because it packages and modifies the proteins. The endoplasmic reticulum The endoplasmic reticulum can be thought of as the highway of the cell. It forms an interconnected network of tubules and vesicles, so it can transport proteins throughout the cell. These vesicles and proteins would be like the delivery trucks on the highways of our city. Many of the protein-producing ribosomes are located on the endoplasmic reticulum. The lysosome is the trash man of the cell because it digests excess or worn-out organelles and proteins by breaking them down and removing them. There are actually two types of eukaryotic cells, animal cells and plant cells. Both types of this cell are very similar, but there are three distinct differences. First, plant cells have a cell wall surrounding the plasma membrane. Animal cells just have a cell membrane. Secondly, there is often just one large central vacuole found in plant cells, whereas animal cells have a few small ones. The vacuole stores molecules needed by a cell and also isolate materials that may be harmful to the cell. The final difference in plant cells have an additional organelle called a chloroplast. The chloroplast is the site of photosynthesis in a plant cell. By studying and manipulating cells, scientists are able to impact life on Earth by doing things such as curing and preventing disease.